Hey guys, welcome back to the Outdoor Navigator. So, uh, if you keep up with my channel, you notice here lately I've been uh, in West Virginia riding on the Hatfield McCoy trails. And if you haven't seen my videos of that, uh, look up in the card and you'll, you can check them out. But anyway, on that trip, uh, I suffered an injury, okay? Haven't uh, thrown that video out to you yet, maybe in the future, but uh, I broke six ribs and fractured my left scapula. So, I've been navigating indoors a little bit here lately, but uh, during that time, I've been doing a lot of thinking and about some new episodes, new places to go. But one thing that come to mind when I was sitting there thinking about my accident and some other things was like, you know, what's the most important piece of equipment in my boat? Now, why would I be thinking of that? And how does that relate to four-wheeling? Well, it doesn't really relate to four-wheeling, but it does relate to something. So... Stay tuned, and I'll tell you what it is. Alright guys, welcome back to the Outdoor Navigator. Good to see you again. If uh, if you're watching this, you probably like outdoors, just like I do. And if you do, you'll want to subscribe to my channel. You'll want to hit that notification bell to get updates when I put out new content. Because what I do on this channel is I get outdoors, just like I am today. But it gets me back to the point uh, with this video. Alright, outdoors. Today I'm going to do a review of a product, and uh, so I asked you a question there a second ago. What's the most important piece of equipment that you can have in your boat? Well, here's some things that it could be. Alright, so, what's the most important piece of equipment in your boat? Well, if you're fishing, it might be your fishing pole. Maybe it's your tackle box. If you're kayaking, it might be your paddle. You don't want to get caught up the creek with that one. Nope, I know what it is. The most important thing in your boat is your lunchbox. <coughs> <sighs> Gotta have your snacks. So what's the most important piece of equipment to have in your boat? BAM! It's your PFD. So earlier I told you it was relative to a four-wheeling accident. Well, I'm gonna tell you why. All right, so on that trip, I was wearing another piece of protective equipment. I was wearing my helmet. And if you all take a good look, you see all these scuffs? That's where my head hit the trail. If I hadn't had this on, it could have turned out a lot worse. I could have lost my life. So, life jacket. And what's a PFD? All right, so PFD. Well, what is a PFD? Well, it's a personal flotation device. All right, also known as a life jacket. So, uh, what makes it so important? Well, number one, in most states, it's a law. In the state of Kentucky, where I live, it is a law. You got to have one in the boat with you if you're out on the water. And you know what? I don't really know of any state that uh, it's not the law. So, hey, if you're a law-abiding citizen like me, there's your there's one reason for you. Now, the second reason is probably the most important. It could save your life. Could save my life. Could save your life. You know. And why wouldn't you want to have that protection when you're out on the water? I mean, ultimately, it's up to you, and I'm not here to give you a lecture today. What I'm here to do today is give you a review of the Chinook NRS PFD. Now, let me start out by telling you, I don't work for NRS, okay? They don't pay me. They don't sponsor me. Uh, I get zero promotion from them, zero money. So, you know, I'm going to give you an unbiased review. Uh, now, why did I choose an NRS Chinook? Well... Uh, I did a lot of research because I wear mine all the time. Every time I get in the water, 
get on the water or whatever I have it on so I knew I was gonna be wearing it all the time so I wanted to get one that number one was comfortable okay because it was gonna be on me the whole time I was fishing or whatever you know and it had to work you know if I'm casting you know reeling in huge bass whatever the case is you know I gotta have one that uh, is comfortable and also that I can move around in and paddle and all that. So uh, I got on Facebook. I went to a bunch of forums. And, you know, there's always people asking a question. What's the best PFD for fishing? What's the best PFD for kayaking? Well, I took note. And the one that kept popping up all the time was the uh, NRS Chinook. So I went to the store, you know, to investigate it. I looked at it. I put it on and walked around the store a little bit. Uh, you know made some casting motions. It felt like it was going to work for me So I bought it and the first thing I did was I got out on the lake to give it a test run And that's what you want to do when you buy one I mean you can maybe get a better deal on Amazon But you know if you're going to buy one get out there and try it out especially if you're going to be wearing it all the time So let's take a closer look at this All right, so let's talk about some of the details of the NRS Chinook PFD all right, number one, it's a Type 3, okay? U.S. Coast Guard approved life jacket. What that means is it's recommended for inland water, okay, where the water's not real rough. And if you did have an accident, the likelihood of you getting rescued quickly is very high, okay? So this ain't the kind of jacket that you want to wear out in the ocean where you might be floating for a day or two before somebody finds you. It has 16 pounds of flotation, all right? And in the back, you've got a high back flotation. Okay, and that makes it really good when you're sitting in your kayak seat and you're fishing. All right, another thing, if you look down at the bottom, see this mesh, okay? That makes it real nice for those hot days, okay? Makes it very breathable and, uh, you know, just adds to the comfort level. I mean, if you're not hot and you're wearing it all the time like I do, okay, you're going to be more likely to keep wearing it. So, you know, that makes it really good. All right, there's a variety of attachment points on this uh, PFD. All right, as you can see, I've got my knife hanging on here. Other things you can attach to it, I like to put my pliers in here. And it's got a fancy dancy little place here. All right, you can put your pliers in there. You can secure it. Okay, and look, it's got a little, I got a little tether on them, so I can find me a place. And attach my tether where it's out of the way. Bam, it goes in the water. These ain't going nowhere. Another thing that I like to put on mine is my whistle, okay? And I like to keep my whistle up to where if I need it, it's going to be easy to find and easy to see. So notice the big bright orange. If I fall in the water, help me! And I need somebody to come get me. Bam! There it is. Help is on the way. Alright, one of the last things, my nippers, okay? I like to keep them on there too. So I just attach them up here, all right? So when I'm fishing and I need to cut off a bait, there they are. There's a link in the description to the ones I have. I'll also put a link with my pliers. Hell, you can, uh, you can probably find you a whistle somewhere. This one's an Eddie Bauer, and it's even got a compass, just like the uh, Red Rider. I guess I'll talk about what I like about this. Number one thing that I like about this is comfort. There's so many things that I can do in this. I can run in it. I can skip in it. I can play basketball in it. Baseball? Tennis, anybody? You know what? I could jump rope in it. In it. I can do floss in it. Is that still a thing? 140? No, it's not Is a that thing. A thing. No. I can even bring it indoors and do some chores. Navigate outdoors. I can take a hike in it. It's so comfortable. I even wear it when I go grocery shopping. 
Where's my coupons? Digital. What are you doing? I have no idea. I'm out of my element. I'm so glad I have this on. It's so comfortable. Navigate indoors. He even sleeps in it. Navigate outdoors. When I'm wearing my PFD, I can even donate a life jacket <laughs> to a cause that promotes life jackets safety. I also wear it when I'm watching my favorite YouTube channel. To the future of outdoor products. All right, the number two thing that I like so much about this Chinook, NRS Chinook PFD, is storage. Now as a fisherman, one thing that I really like about this is all the pockets it has, okay? has a lot of a lot of storage area so uh, whether I'm storing uh, maybe some baits in there or look there you can store snacks all right I got a small pocket up there for a snack and look there you got two pockets you can have two snacks all right you also got a bigger pocket here that unzips folds down look here I got a sandwich and if you want to know how to make a good ham and cheese sandwich Look up in the link there, and uh, my boy Hunter Boy 40, he's going to show you how to make a ham and cheese. Uh, you've got another pocket just like it on the other side, okay? Most of the time what I do is I put my phone in there. See here inside this, you've got a zippered pocket, okay, with a little tether, okay? You could put your keys, you know, you could put your keys in there, just snap them in, all right? Storm, zip them up in this pocket, okay? So if both turned over, you won't lose them. And, you know, look here, got a couple little things in there where you could slide something underneath of it, I don't know. Possibilities are pretty much unlimited with this. So lots of storage. Uh, this is how I have mine set up. And it works real good for me when I'm fishing because everything that I need to get a hold of is right here, okay? I don't have to go reaching anywhere in my boat for anything. I've got everything that I need quick access right here, especially my sandwich and the third reason that I love this PFD is because it could save your life could save my life could save your life just like I told you this helmet saved my life and uh, that's more than enough reason for me to put this on all the time plus all those other reasons comfort storage and hey I look pretty cool in this thing all right so we'll give you a full review okay I told y'all things I liked about it there are a couple things that I don't like. All right, the number one thing that I don't like about it is this little strap here. It's got this little old teeny piece of Velcro, and this little piece of Velcro here, all right? It comes unattached all the time, and I can't stand that. All right, so another thing is, you know, when I'm leaning over, picking up a big old fish, a lot of times, these pliers, they wanna come out. They come out and they're all flopping around. Okay, it would be nice if this was down a little bit lower, had that better Velcro, okay, to keep them in there so they don't fall out. Okay, keep them snug a little bit better. So, I don't know, a little bit trivial. That doesn't make me want to return this and that doesn't make me not like this. Okay, I still love it. I just learned to live with it. Okay, it's not too bad. Uh, the other thing is price, okay. These things can run up to $160. Okay, now right now, uh, researching for this video, I uh, did a quick Google search and I seen that they were on sale right now for 120 so that's a pretty good deal. Uh, but you know what? You get what you pay for. I've had cheaper uh, life vests. They were hot. They were uncomfortable. Okay, and they didn't work well for what I needed them to do. Okay, this one here, I've got free movement of my arms. I've got all this storage. I told you about how cool it was when I wore it. Okay and uh, and how comfortable it was and all the things that I can do in it. And that's the selling point for me. I mean, I love this thing. I wear it all the time and I wouldn't be on the water without it. 
and I hope that you would. So guys, if you're looking for a good PFD, this is 100% a thumbs up in my book. It does everything you need. And once again, hey, it holds your sandwiches and you can't beat that. So thanks for stopping by today. Uh, I hope you liked the video. If you did, hit that like for me. Also, if you have any comments or questions, make sure you leave those. Uh, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, I'd like to invite you to subscribe. Hit that notification bell so the next time uh, I do a video, you all can uh, check it out and you can be first to see it. And I hope to see you again uh, in the next episode. Navigate yourself outside. Peace.